Jamin here. Welcome to Street Smart Swing. Make sure you subscribe below if you want to get access to uh, some of my new free swing dance courses. Check out that link in the description also. Now, today I'm going to be taking a look at a solo jazz competition at Savoy 2022. I love solo jazz. You guys know my parameters for solo jazz. Some of you may not know. I like to look at the upper body, how well a dancer can control their torso. It will actually show me if their movements look more vintage than like modern hip hop. Usually dancers are pretty good at improvisation and, and bringing out their A game when it comes to their choreography, but a lot of times they struggle with that. And I also want to see who can actually embellish the music the most, not override the music with a bunch of noise and crazy clutter moves, but who can actually make the music look visual because that, that's clearly what we're hearing, but I want to see the music. So let's see which dancers can do this. I'm excited to take a look. I don't know who's in it. So uh, I'm going to give you guys my opinion right after this. Okay. So we're back. Here we go. Uh, I don't know why I feel nervous. I never, this is so weird. I'm not even competing. I feel nervous just watching people being nervous, <laughs> preparing. All right, here we go. Oh, live band to Pamela. Here we go. Now, I know some of these dancers, so I know that what their abilities are, but I'm just going to try to judge them for what they're doing here. Yes. Ah, oh, good, good. Rico, yes, sir. It's good to see him. Man, a lot of these dancers have been so consistent over the years. You can see their maturation tremendously. Yes. Hadas. Uh huh. <laughs> okay, okay. Rasmus. Yes. <laughs> Get out the way, bro. <laughs> yeah, Florent, here we go. Good footwork, yes. Okay, Audrey. Oh, oh, ah, that was ah, yes, <laughs> that was good. Ooh, I gotta talk about him. I hope, I hope, oh man, let's keep going. Let's keep going. I can't talk too much. Let's see. That was good. Oh, they switched the tempo. Good. See? Here we go. Yes. Oh, good timing, Pamela. Wow. <laughs> Work it, Rico. Yes. <laughs> I see you, yes. 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 Okay. Yes. 
Yes. Ah. <laughs> nice. Oh, that was good. That transition, bro. Wow, that was that was tight. So good. Okay, back to fast. It's okay. Fire! Oh, Ellen. Oof. Yes. Yes. Ah. Something. I'm, I'm feeling something. brought there a game oh this is so good let's talk about it that was so good so so good oh boy man guys i gotta say right up front there were i'd say 90 percent of these dancers nailed what i was looking for at least in the context of the upper body being controlled golly there were so many great moments 
where dancers that I thought would not be able to do it did it. They controlled themselves. They showed a little bit more restraint. It was great. And then there were two couples, actually not couples, I'm judging a solo, but two dancers, two dancers that had not just the control, but they also had some creativity. Now, what's weird about this is I'm torn between my first and second, and it really is a matter of being torn between emotion and intellect, because I can tell you guys, you know, I'm looking for the control of the upper body, and I'm looking for some timing with the music, and I will say, my second place person did that. They did it so well that they ended up doing less in movement, less in creativity, and they stood out so much more to me than everybody else. And I think that's just fascinating. There's a huge lesson there in solo jazz where you can just simply do basic things in great time and with efficient uh, body control and you can be well ahead of everyone else. Now, look at this. My, my favorite dancer uh, who did this and they're honestly, man, intellectually and uh, if I think technically, they were first place. But today I'm being a little emotional. I'm being a little emotional. And this is what it's like. N not everybody will tell you the process of how they judge. And I like to put it out there for you guys. So I'm just being honest. In this case, this person nailed all three attributes, but I have them in second place. And there's a reason why I have them in second place. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to share that with you here in a minute. But let me show you what this dancer did, guys. You saw it, but I'm going to show you again so you can feel what I felt uh tadas man look at this when he comes out immediately look at his upper body nowhere near the amount of movement as his lower body and he stood out immediately i know all of these moves these are all classic moves not a big deal but it is a big deal that he's making them look like a big deal by not moving so much it's amazing look at look at this on the slower tempo he was the winner for me he, he crushed the slower tempo. Look how, how consistent he is with the swing tempo. Even though, look at this, he's doing Charleston moves on a very slow song and he's not rushing it. This is something that I just have to highlight because so many of the dancers botched that. They were <laughs> too fast. Now look, back to the fast tempo and look, he's not ahead of the music. Look at his upper body, guys. He's doing some of the same movements he did in his second set, but you can absolutely appreciate it because he's not new, moving too much. He's moving all in the right spots, guys. And that was just like so profound to me to think those moves are so basic. Every one of those dancers he was competing against could do the exact same thing. But the fact that he did it with so much more control, that for me is the winner. He's, he's my technical winner. Now, my emotional winner. <laughs> That's different because you know how you are. You, you use logic a lot of times to justify whatever it is we want to do. But most of the time, we are very emotional, especially when it comes to entertainment. And I got to tell you guys, the emotional part of me when I saw this, I couldn't contain myself. And you know who I'm talking about. I'm, I'm talking about uh, Alexandra, I believe that's what his name was. Alexander? Yeah, I think it was Alexander. Let's see, he comes out right here. And I thought, okay, okay, here we go. And right here, I saw crazy footwork this session right here. Watch, boom, bop, boo, doo, boom, 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 slip, slop, boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Oh, there's, oh, there's just so much. And, and look at his second set. He comes out, upper body's controlled, but look what happens, guys. There's, sh there's so much groove. Look, this is how he showed contrast. Before he was so fast, and he went into slower grooves with his body, and then he goes back to the syncopations. The craziness, look at that. These transitions with the slow tempo, and the perfect ending to show contrast was beautiful. And this right here, whoa, that intro and him coming out here, guys. Ah, oh, it's so good. It's so good on so many levels that it shook me emotionally and I, I can't ignore it. I can't ignore that type of 
technical ability to just improvise on the spot with your set and it's so crisp and it's so disciplined with the music and that's my drawback that's also the reason i have him in second place think about that he's he's still emotionally in first but technically in second for me because i felt like tadas had a better balance there's just there's simplicity and then there's complexity but I feel like when I watched Alexandra, I, there's a lot of there's a lot of complexity and there's a lot of amazing contrast with timing in the music where there's perfect spots where the music stops. But I feel like it's a bit over processed and, and there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. If, if I'm wanting to feel something as a novice uh, audience member and I want to feel emotion, he, by far, he's the winner. But when it comes to just the finesse, the balance, I felt like a little bit less would have been better in his case because I feel like many of the sets were kind of redundant, but they were so well packaged. Tadas was also a bit redundant, but it was it was better in terms of how it was presented. I could see contrast. But guys, that that last set with Alexander him coming out with the little Michael Jackson little thing that just those moments again highlight the power of creativity and i have to lean towards um alexandra on on what i feel in terms of value because in essence this is what made lindy hop when you have raw emotion and creativity it spawns something new for people to want to learn and then of course you know as those people begin to to grow and create new things people come behind them and they preserve what those amazing moments of artistry were and they they end up preserving it and putting language to it and and codifying it so that others can appreciate those moments of ingenuity and their craftsmanship right so we have to have both concepts to to make this beautiful dance work and in this case you have two perfect examples of amazing craftsmanship with tadas and then you see amazing artistry with Alexander, I hope I'm saying his name right, so please correct me, Alexandra or Alexander, but I'm telling you guys, that that essence is what I love, and that's why it was so hard for me to determine who the winner is. Now, the perfect dancer <laughs> would have been a good mix of both of those two. If I would have seen just a little bit more with Tadas in terms of like ingenuity with the moves, he would have been clearly first. If I would have seen just a little bit more restraint with with Alexander, then this wouldn't even be a discussion. It wouldn't even be a discussion. But that that's the thing, guys. It's just when you see good dancing to this level, it just makes you proud to be a part of this amazing niche. It's a it's such a small community. It's such a small dance, and I think that's kind of sad. I wish it was so much bigger, so we can't all control it. And and you know how we are when we we we're big fish in a small pond. I just wish it was as big as salsa or big as uh, hip hop. Wouldn't that be amazing? Because what I saw today is it, it, I feel just as much emotion watching this as I would something more modern today. And in fact, I feel more because I, I feel that it, it just includes more people. You have the audience, you have the bands, you have the dancers. It's just an amazing conglomerate of, of just emotion. And so... Guys, what do you think? Who was your favorite in this competition? You heard my two favorites and you also heard why I like them and, and why I have one in first and one in second. And tomorrow it might change depending on how I'm feeling. But guys, let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. I'm looking forward to hearing your thoughts. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything because I might say some positive things about your dancing, some constructive critique that could actually help you improve. So don't forget to subscribe. And if you want to check out my free courses below, make sure you do that. I got some brand new free courses to help you stay inspired. So with that said, I look forward to seeing your comments below. And if I don't, hopefully I get a chance to see some of you in my class online. Take care.